All right, Schlockmeister fans, we're going to watch an 80s horror movie called Eyes of Fire, or in this case, Ojos de Fuego. Let's watch. Ojos de Fuego. Now, most of the film is told in flashback, and here we go. A local priest has been accused of sleeping with another woman. Making longing eyes, and then meeting in the dark places. It was a sin we'd all be paying for soon enough. A thousand times over. Trial. They burned Will's house. Joel, they're gonna hang him. Let them. Margaret, you don't understand. Will is the preacher. Dennis Liscom is the priest. Preacher. But just as they are about to hang him, he's saved by that woman and her magical power. With a renewal in life, he decides to leave. And a man does as he is forced to do. And take some of his followers with him. Come on, Freddy, all right? Sure. The mama and the others locked everybody in town in this. We're heading off into the valley somewhere. A different person. Spending all our time a lost in with Mr. Will. It was like she was the child now and I was the mother. If you knew what happened to her. What? It's a miracle she can even mumble. What happened to her? Oh, she was just a wee thing. They came to her house. Sound familiar? That girl is Leah, the one who was sitting down. The King of the street. Forest, they call her. Queen of the Forest, I mean. Next thing you know, they're getting shot at. and bullets. But Leah, queen of the forest, somehow manages to protect them. I don't know what she is. There's feathers the everywhere. Feathers are a clear sign. Keep away. If you don't, the trail will disappear behind you. Apparently it might be left by the, the Shawnee the Indians. There's a warning not to go into this valley. valley. But they go in anyway. For delivering us from the savage infidels. And again, we pray. That tree. That tree says that this valley is where the lost blood gathers. It's the home of the devil. Don't be telling me this. Oh no. Eloise. How can you be casting about with a man like that? Are these ghosts? Apparently they are like the lost souls of the Indians or something. Kingdom. For we must baptize Then they find an Indian girl. What do you think, Leah? I don't think we approve. That's an interesting scene. That's Fran Ryan, by the way. He was right there! He was right there! Now I have no idea what's happening here. But it looks kind of cool. For 
come out captives of the devil witch. She said the devil witch wanted to make us captives too. So there's these, apparently these lost souls in the woods, which like come out of the trees or something. They're like embedded in the trees. The bloody cretins. Someone made a mess, or something made a mess of their place. The best minds of Europe. God damn. God damn, God damn it! There's a lot of weird imagery and scenes in this film. Not a lot of it makes sense. You do magic, but call it what you will. If you got any sense at all, I'm begging you. Come with me. So the girl is now being chased by some of those lost soul creatures. Again, your guess is as good as mine. Looked like some sort of cow creature. Witch. Witches. And then chaos. He died. It's not my fault. So they decide to leave Will and take off. No. The leaving is not so easy. Chased, and of course, there's those things in the trees. Anyway, they got away, and then they floated down river in a coffin type box. Then if it were night or day, it was about a week before you found us. You said others are on French soil. I want to know where, where, and how many. Don't worry, my child. It'll be all right. You must know if you are truly alone. We're not alone. You take them away. All right, let's talk about this movie, Eyes of Fire. Um, not available on DVD in this country, so I picked up this Spanish DVD under the title Ojos de Fuego. Looks like it's a VHS rip, though. Nothing special here. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. This movie, I don't quite understand this movie, I'll be honest with you now. I've read that if you look at the trailer, the trailer has, looks fantastic. There's all kinds of cool scenes. And I will admit, there's a lot of cool imagery in this movie. There's like these people, uh, monsters or whatever, they're embedded in the trees and they kind of come out of them. Uh, allegedly, the plot here is uh, this, this preacher uh, was allegedly having an affair, and I think he was, with some woman. So they decided to hang him. This takes place in 1750 in colonial America somewhere. 
and uh, he's saved by this witch who has Leah, the queen of the forest, who has some sort of magical power. After he's saved, he decides, I'm getting the hell out of here. I don't blame him. He takes some of his followers with him, and they go into the valley somewhere. In the valley, they're warned not to go in there because they find all these feathers all over the place. The feathers were apparently put there by the Shawnee Indians, basically warning people, stay the hell out of here. Well, they say, screw that, they go in anyway. And that's when they start having these bizarre encounters with these weird creatures. A lot of them are naked and they're running around. Um, a lot of them are embedded in trees. They're like the spirits. They're apparently like the lost souls of the Indians or something. I don't know. One of them comes out of the ground. A couple of them come out of the ground. It's just weird. Um, I don't know what the hell is going on in this movie, I, to be honest with you. Uh, there were like ghosts and things just appearing. Um, I really, really have no clue what was going on here. I don't understand it. It was just very incoherent. Um, ultimately, we have some survivors at the end. Of course, uh, the preacher, uh, some of the people broke off from him and decided to leave at the end of this movie. And they're the ones who are like the heroes who escape at the end. The preacher's left behind, but it's not like he's in peril or in danger or anything. He's just kind of left behind, I, I guess, with some of his other followers. I don't know. But anyway, uh, these, a couple people escape, and at the end of the movie, um, we see some guy walk towards the camera, and his eyes start glowing. Again, I don't know what the hell was going on in this movie. It looks really cool. Um, I actually have this on a pre-recorded VHS tape. I've never seen it before until today. Um, I, I don't know where I acquired the tape. I got it a long time ago, and just never watched it. Put it in a box eventually, and there it sat. So, but... Since I want to get everything on disc, I had to get the DVD of this now, and I'm watching it because I should, right? So, anyway, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand this movie. It has a review, or the, the reviews on uh, IMDb are pretty good. It has like a 6.3, and it looks like it could be scary, should be scary. I just, I just don't understand what the hell was going on. Maybe somebody out there can tell me. Now, this movie is streaming on YouTube. I think I found two places or two channels that are streaming this movie, so you can watch it for yourself, um, and maybe you can tell me what's going on. Uh, if you do happen to get this DVD, it is available in a Spanish soundtrack as well, or was it German? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. There's two languages. There's at least English, and that does have some subtitles too, but again, it looks like a VHS rip, so it's got to be Spanish. So, Anyway, that's it. Ojos de Fuego, Eyes of Fire. Um, it seems like it was decent, but I, I just couldn't understand it. So somebody please explain Eyes of Fire to me. Maybe with some repeated viewings this would get better. I don't know. I just don't get it. So anyway, you tell me and leave some comments. Watch it. Bye. Ojos de Fuego.